Welcome to Jackalope Farm in Eastern Ontario. Just a quick follow up on our greenhouse repairs uh, after that big storm we had on Saturday. As you can see, it looks mostly normal. All the bent bits are straightened out. All the panels that popped out have gone back in. Uh, some of the pieces I didn't bother bending totally straight. This is one long uh, actually, it's one eight-foot piece, and to remove it requires removing the whole roof, so I kind of left it as it is. And here are the broken bits. Um, so for each of these, I had to basically make new ones. So for those plastic tees, I just took a old piece of sheet metal and made some holes in it. I may do that for the remaining ones just because I think they look a lot stronger. And depending on which model you have, you'll have a different kind of, you'll have, there's different kinds of clips that they use, but they're all plastic. So uh, ultimately, uh, they're one of the things that fail. And so I just took a piece of, I think this is an old uh, hurricane tie and I just cut it and drilled a hole in it. That seems to serve the exact same purpose. And then there's a few of the panels have kind of crinkles and folds in them, but I don't, that doesn't seem to matter too much. The only thing that was a bit of a pain was some of the panels are hard to reinsert because the, uh, the metal members had been bent and when you straighten them out, they're not smooth anymore. And I think these, these sheets of plastic really depend on there being a smooth surface for them to go in cleanly. So that's it, including uh, coffee breaks. Probably took me about five hours to put all the take it, take it apart, straighten all the pieces out, and put everything back together again. Um, so if you're going to buy one of these, just be aware that you're going to have to do that from time to time. Uh, but not all is lost. It's not a complete disaster when it does happen. All right. Hope you find that helpful, and uh, happy farming.